welcome back to my channel my name is Jackie welcome to my home and this is Jackie Does Keto and I share keto videos with you guys so uh, this video is going to be what I ate for dinner all this week coming up um, I don't know what it is yet because I haven't eaten it yet um, and also things like my weigh-ins and anything sort of recipes that I find and just generally bits and bobs and little vloggy kind of things as well so thank you very much for joining me it is Monday just gone one o'clock one of the things I'm working on right now for myself is making sure I'm taking my breaks so I've set an alarm to have my hour lunch normally I work through or I'm really terrible but I think for my mental wellness we all need to take a break today my crave kit has arrived which is my monthly keto subscription box which is here in the UK there's always a link to it below and my discount code as well which I think is Jackie 15 if you wanted to try it or come back to it I know some people have left and you've told me you want to come back to it because it's gotten better so there'll be a link below if you wanted to do that I'm going to be filming the unboxing for this one a bit later on and sharing it with you guys I've also had some plants some plug plants turn up from the garden centre I made a place to big order so as it's lunchtime it has started to rain obviously we're having like one of the wettest I think it's the wettest May since the records being gone or something silly so um it is very wet here so I'm going to go in the garden get damp and put some of my plants and these are just marigolds so I think exciting but I'm trying to get my garden ready because apparently at the end of next week it's going to turn a corner as we start getting into June we're actually going to start having a summer which is awesome because I've also got some garden furniture coming as well so I want it all to come together so I can spend a lovely glorious summer outside but I'm going to go and plant these guys um, and I'm going to show you also as well what I'm going to be eating this week, what I'm having tonight, um, and all that stuff. So if you're not already, press the subscribe button. The little dingly bell will tell you when I've posted. Well, it's three o'clock and I'm having some food. I'm going to the gym at five and I don't like going with like a heavy stomach. So I just warmed up some of the gammon that I slow cooked yesterday in my slow cooker. Got 200 grams of gammon here. Nothing exciting. And I've also grabbed some of this lemon pepper mayonnaise so it's not too bad it's quite low so i'm gonna have some of that as well and i'm gonna try and chug this in the next hour so i've got a chance to have a pee before i go on the treadmill because i hate the feeling of all my like food and, and drink slushing around i tend to chug it and then feel really heavy on my stomach so that is it and i may have something later on i don't know i tend to quite enjoy having um like pork rinds in the evening like the salts i think are really nice so that is my little tea and i may have some some pork rinds later and it is Tuesday, more of the same. Uh, gammon, I've got 230 grams of gammon. I've got a big splodge of mayonnaise and some hot sauce because I just fancied a bit of spice. Um, and that is going to be it. I may have some pork rinds later on. Again, after my workout, see how I feel. Hello lovelies, it is Wednesday. And today is my official rest day from working out. So I'm enjoying my rest day. The only thing I've been doing, and I've been really diligent about it the last this week, is I've set a um, reminder on my watch so that I do actually have my lunch break. So I had went out in the garden today and had a break. Uh, we're about to have dinner. Paul's going to cook steak. I've also had a delivery of um, syrups as well. This is my favourite syrup. Unfortunately, it's expensive. So, uh, you can get it from TRKG, um, but I think it's really expensive. I prefer to get my syrups from TK Maxx for mine because they're three ninety nine. It's a seven ninety nine. You do get a discount if you buy five. You get one free. You just have to pay shipping though. So this this is really really tasty. But I'd say go go to TK Maxx if you can. I think definitely. But anyway, I'm gonna do a tidy up and then I think we're gonna have our steak. And it's tea time. Paul was very kindly cooked his tea. Got a couple of steaks, a couple of little fried eggs, and just some mustard. What up? It is Thursday. It is dinner time. It's about twenty past five. I got up at stupid o'clock this morning. I keep finding I keep waking up at like at four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, whatever you. Um, I got up at six this morning. I thought I'm just gonna get the gym, get it done. So rather than going tonight, I went this morning. I was really hungry all day and thirsty. Um, but now it's dinner time, so I'm gonna actually eat at home with, with Paul. Ah, uh, he's having jerk chicken salad with a baked potato. Mm. I'm probably gonna have the last of that gammon because it's got to be eaten. I don't want to waste it. It's not exciting at all, but I want to get it cooked. I've also got this guy, which I got in my crave kit this month, last week, and I pulled the, the tab off just to taste it because I find these things tend to taste a bit slimy because um, the xanthan gum, 
and I don't like them. But this one's actually okay. So I'm gonna have some of this. There is carbs in it, it's not carnivore, uh, but whatever. <laughs> carnivore, please. Um, this is 0. I have to look over my glasses now, I'm old. Uh, 0.8 carbs per serving, which I think is a tablespoon. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna have gammon with sweet chili sauce, probably a bit of mayo as well. And that's it, and that's the gammon done and finished with. I've got, um, I think, four dinners out of that for £5.50. So it is an absolutely really good frugal one for me this week. So, well, up, it is Friday, yes, afternoon. Oh. Um, and I am starting to, my brain's like thinking about the weekend and all that stuff. I'm going to the gym tonight, it'll be my last day of the week before my two day weekend rest. And it's about 2.30, so I'm eating early today um, for when I go out, because I'm having, I made some beef, I won't say stew, but I won't say broth, it's kind of a mixture between the, the between them. It was a pack of um, stewing beef that I put in slow cook of, with like herbs and I think rosemary and garlic, and it just went right, right down, and it's really, really strong, it's really salty. I must put too much salt in it as well. Um, so I kind of made it into more of a broth than a little stew, which is fine. There's a lot of fat in this, which I'm trying out to see if that helps. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm not really good at eating fat. I don't like fat generally. I like my palate. So I'm having this for my dinner. Hopefully it will settle down in the next two or three hours before I go and work out. Today's workout is one of all the squats in it. Mm, all my Botox. Um, I'm also having one of these Vit sticks, which I got in my Crave kit last month, month before. Which is one with all the vitamins and stuff in it as well, because I'm not very good at that. I was thinking actually, while I was getting that, why has no one actually bought one out just for keto people? Or have they? It's got like magnesium in it, potassium, all the vitamins and stuff. Um, I'm surprised no one's got one specifically for keto people. Anyway, that is what I'm up to. Then it's the gym, then it's the weekend. It's been raining for about f five weeks. Oh my God, it won't stop raining. It's driving me nuts. I really want to build our shed this weekend. I bought it last summer and never got around to building it. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of where I am for plans at the moment. Well, I did my workout. I am absolutely spent. I'm so excited for two days of rest. I really pushed it. But boys were hogging the machines and it pissed me off. Anyway, I've noticed that on a Friday night, the yellow stickers, the reduced stickers, the whoopsies are quite good. So I thought I'd pop in. I made a bit of space in my freezer in anticipation. And um, I was successful. Let's show you what I got on my hunt. Aldi was far, far, far better than Sainsbury's. Um, I grabbed these in in Aldi. These are Wagyu's. Wagyu. I've never, I don't know, have I had it? I don't know. That's 75% off. Um, grabbed, look at the chubby bad boys. Now these are, quite, they had quite a few more, but I didn't go crazy um, because that's naughty. Um, but they're quite carby. Per burger is 2.9. So they are, they're not the best, if I'm honest. I don't know if that's a wagon thing or they put some point put rusk and stuff in it. Um, but Paul will sell in. I might have one with like some big pile of bacon and a couple of fried eggs, something like that. And have like a five gram net carb dinner. So, but they are going to go in the freezer. This is for Paul, obviously not for me. Got some chicken goujons. And I grabbed him a like veggie platter, veggie selection thing. Because I'm cooking him Spanish chicken tomorrow. And I wanted something to have with it. And a jacket tape of Spanish chicken. That's the chicken I'm going to use. Also grabbed this while it's in there. I'll just nibble on that randomly. Went to Sainsbury's. Not much cracker lacking in there. Just got a little bit of bacon. Got pulled some scones. 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 Um, I'm going to hand over to him my sugar-free jam to try out. See how what he thinks about that. The um, Skinny Company, I think it is. Um, it's actually okay. It's just not overly sweet. Grab myself some of these guys because I just fancied them. And some more almond milk. I've noticed if you use quite a lot of it in your coffee, it doesn't go all creamy and weird. Oh, I also grabbed this, which is really nice. It's garlic and salt, but it's really garlicky. It's so nice. You don't need a lot of it either. So I grabbed that guy while I was there so I can season things up. And that's my little sticker. I think this is about £9. Um, so it was pretty good. No, less than that, about £8. So pretty good. Good morning. It is Saturday and I've been and done my errands, been to the post office, all that stuff. Went thrifting again. I thought I'd show you because you liked it last time. I picked up these £1.49 each, uh, both from the same charity store. It's like a green top. I think this is from Primark. I think that's the brand. Um, doesn't it feel like it's ever been worn? I don't think. It's in really good condition. Um, and I've also got some shorts, and these are short shorts, man. They're both on the edge of being a little bit too small for me. They're 22s, um, 
this one particularly is a little bit more small. I'd probably say in about £10, £15, this will fit me really nice. But oh, freaking hell, they're short shorts. You can practically see my cheekies at the bottom. <laughs> this one I could probably wear now with like some jeans. I'd feel comfortable enough, I think. But I'm going to pop them both away for another £10 progress, I think. Definitely, hopefully, should be this summer. But yeah, my little thrifting thrifts. Well, it's like half two. It's really overcast because it's been raining like for about forever. And I've been trying to get out in the garden during my work lunch just to do bits and pieces. And I've been like chopping down the leaves and then potting things up. Um, it's going to hopefully get better next week. But in the meantime, I've got these. These have arrived. And they're looking not the best. But these are actually keto-friendly veggies. I've got um, two sprouts, two cabbage, two cauliflower, two broccoli. A couple of tomatoes, which I don't even like tomatoes. So they'll be for Paul. So I want to get those in. Just got some... These are 179 from Aldi, it's ridiculous, they're so cheap. And I've also got some zinnias. Some of them are looking real awful, really awful. I'm going to report these, I think. Um, but I'm going to pop them in the ground and see what happens. My tomatoes look terrible. Um, but yeah, just, we're having a real bad washout this year, but working on the old garden. Um, I think it's going to rain again. Now it's nearly dinner time. Paul is going to be having Spanish chicken, Mediterranean veggies and herb and potatoes. Uh, I'm not really hungry uh, at all, really, and I thought I can't bother to cook. <laughs> so um, I'm being cheat. I'm cheating on um, carnivore. I'm having this guy, which I bought a few months ago, but it is super. It has got maize starch and stuff in it, but it's super, super low carb. The whole can's got half carb in it. I don't know how where they've done that, witchcraft. I don't know, but um, I'm having that. I just felt like it today. Something different. Uh, it's not like a piece of meat. So I'm gonna put loads of pepper in it and some of this garlic. It's roasted garlic, Cornish sea salt. It's really strong roasted garlic flavour. It's really nice. You don't need a lot of it. So I'm just going to put some of that guy in it, that guy in it, and just have that. Keep it really plain and something a bit different for tea. And this week's Sainsbury's grocery haul is here. Um, and again, not another big one again, because um, I've been going into the supermarket after the gym, picking up my yellow stickers, my whoopsies. And um, it's been working out really well, getting reduced meats and things, keeping the freezer nice and stocked. With me, got loads of burgers and stuff this week. So this is what I've got, and very little for me on this end, and the rest is kittens, Paul, and shared. So this is the very boring end, the keto-friendly end. Got some more of these steaks, they can't go wrong with them. We've had them many times. Three pound, get a couple of little steaks each, can't complain at that. Got yet more eggs, I'm gonna be using these in a recipe today, so I needed to grab some more eggs. I ordered one of those cook-in-the-bag chickens, those really lazy ones, you just throw it in. But they're making me work and I substitute it out for a large chicken instead. It means I don't have to touch it. <laughs> I'm so lazy. So I'll be cooking this guy in a minute just to have tonight and to pick up the rest of the week or pre cooked. Just one of these guys. I do find the better ones in Aldi. So I'll probably grab some in the week again. Try looking for those special stickers. With your little roll, more almond milk. This is the £1 deal this week. I keep my eye out. I prefer, I, li I like the innocent now i never liked it in my coffee before because it chunked but um whatever's on for a pound i try to go for so i've got a couple of those guys and the rest is paused really on this side got some veggies for when we cook things like curries and stuff and you just want you know extra pack it out a bit got some crisps for him and some kitten food for the kittens and stuff they've been a bit fiddly at the moment got some of these guys if you like these well you make he likes of heat he makes a good of a heater buns for the hot dogs from a couple of weeks ago he's got the other half of those to have as well i just got him some sweet stuff um got him one of these guys that i um, made him a spanish chicken which he liked yesterday so he's having that tonight as leftovers sauces and crackers and all that stuff stuff to marinate yourself in the bathtub mints and obviously our gajillion gajillion bottles of pop which is probably about a third of our budget there you go and that is our tinky tinky tiny grocery haul i think this was about I think it was about 58 pounds i think so not too bad and now i'm very excited to try a new recipe that the lovely anita over at ketogenic woman has shared on her channel anita is the lady who made the um, egg fast plan that um and a lot of you guys have, have downloaded and followed and all that stuff she's amazing and she's doing a little bit of carnivore at the moment so it's very very good synergy for me and she's come up with um a carnival friendly chaffle and you know i love my chaffles Make them in bulk, pop them in the freezer, pop them in the toaster, bang, bang, bang. I would love a nice burger, so I'm very excited to try this. So there's only a handful of ingredients. I will link the original video to Anita's channel below. Um, I've told her I'm going to do that. <laughs> Bless her, she's so supportive. Um, 
And basically, it's only three real ingredients. So you've got uh, to make four chaffles. Now, she's got a dash. I've got a faker dash. And I think hers is a little deeper than mine. So I'm not sure if I will get four out of it. Her recipe says she'll get four. I think, because mine's not as deep as hers, I think I might get an extra one. But for the four chaffles, you use four eggs. You would need half, uh, like one cup of ground pork rinds. I've actually got these guys. These are like the puffy kind. Um, and I don't know how much a half a cup is in English. So I've gone for two bags, which I've already smashed up into um, little bits. But she said just pop them in the blender or you can buy them pre-ground. Look for pork panko on the Amazon store and you can get it all pre-ground for you in a tub or you can just make your own. I want to go for two of these packages. These packages are 30 grams a pop. So hopefully this will be 60 grams, would be about a cup full. And then two tablespoons of melted ghee. She recommend ghee over everything else. However, I am going to be cooking bacon. So I might use bacon fat if I can save it for next time, if they turn out delicious. She's put salt and salt in hers. And um, these are a little salty, but not too salty. But to go, go be a bit wild, I've got, again, I'm going to pull out this really garlicky salt. And I'm also going to put some pepper in mine as well. And just pop them in the dash and see what happens how they look um, i really would like some burgers and some breakfast sandwiches this week so fingers crossed i don't mess them up and they are done um really really pleased now i'm really curious i dug out my cups measured out what those two bags were and actually it was one and a quarter cups um so i ended up putting a fifth egg in my blend and i ended up getting six rather than four so uh bonus now these guys are really really solid like you could use them as a frisbee they are thick they are solid awesome i've had a little nibble as you can see from one of them it is in a good way fairly very plain it's inoffensive you could use it in lots of different ways you know ham if you're not doing dairy free you could do ham and cheese sandwiches bacon and egg you can use it for anything i'm gonna use it for burger buns i think next week um i think it would really lend itself to lots of herbs and spices or keeping it plain um, I didn't expect them to be so thick because I didn't put any raisin age and usually when I make traditional chaffles I put a little baking powder in there to make them rise but truly it didn't need it. Um, these are absolutely rocking. I put it into my fitness pal to calculate the macros based on the products I've used. Um, I used 30 grams of ghee and it worked out to 170 calories each because obviously the ghee and the fat from the pork and 0.6 carbs per chaffle. So very, very low carb, um, very, very good ketovore, keto carnivore friendly. And really, I think there's only one thing left for me to do. And there we go. I've got a huge, this is pork loin rather than bacon, so it's a little bit higher in um, calories, but I've got myself a pork loin and fried egg ketovore chaffle sandwich because of obviously the fat, there are 600 calories in this, which is not a bad thing if you're like me, you struggle to get calories in, um, and 1.8 grams of carbs. <laughs> that is banging a superb example of a keto four meal. It's quite big, it's gonna be quite dense. Uh, definitely a good breakfast though. Let me know what you think below guys, would you eat this if you're doing keto four? It, it's gonna be delicious, I know it. Hi friends, I know you've been on our little bird feeder, Hello. You can help yourself. Well, it's the end of the day. I managed to squeeze a tiny bit of garden in. It's freaking freezing and it's raining again. Metal squirrel, that was good. And I've got all my meal played out here. So I've got my lovely keto chaffles. They were good. That food was so filling. I had it for lunch. That was really good. I've got some little sausages, my little bratwurst that I get from Heron. I just people have asked me, where do we get them from? They're 69p a packet, there's two packs there. Um, and they're really low carb and just really easy to do. And I did some bacon, but I cooked it too long, it's really crispy. Poor Ed Sam, Mr. Olsen. Um, and I've also still got my big fat chicken, which I'll probably have some tonight with some hot sauce and some mayo. Um, it's just really easy and straightforward. That's a large chicken, so that I'll probably get like four or five days out of that. And also got a bit of stock as well. And that's it. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope that a chaffle recipe has been of interest to you. Let me know how you're getting on below. Hope you have a fabulous week. I will see you guys tomorrow for my weekly update. So if you are enjoyed the video and you like keto videos and weekly weigh-ins and progresses and all the other stuff, press that sub button. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.